He's here to save the day! The following contest is the Money in the Bank Ladder Match! To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making his way to the ring, Nothing, you idiot. It was pure luck and some distraction by a certain rattlesnake. The Celtic warrior always ready for a fight. Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The Celtic Warrior has accomplished just about everything there is to accomplish in WWE. Sheamus is always around for a fight. The success, hey, that's just a byproduct. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. Who lives his life his way. 
doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring high-flying Hall of Famer. And from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! A true trailblazer when it comes to unorthodox style in the ring. The definition of unorthodox style both in and out of the ring. His martial arts acumen is translated into quite the impressive, memorable sports entertainment career. And we can only hope that RVD is about to make some more memorable moments here tonight. the ability to mix up styles at a moment's notice and yet always finds a way to win. Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. And from Black Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size? Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! The Apex Predator is on the hunt. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Think about the journey this man has had from the blue chip legacy prospect to the legend killer to eventually world champion. Or what about all the allies and enemies that Randy Orton has made along the way? 
And he's beaten just about all of them, allies included. The Viper has consumed everything in his path. Randy Orton may just be the greatest of all time. There is no question, Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxton, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. Inside the briefcase is a contract that the winner of the match can catch in at any time over the next year against the champion of their respective brand. Superstars know that in that briefcase is the opportunity to change the trajectory of their career. They want that more than anything in the world. To climb the ladder and grab that briefcase could be the jetpack that skyrockets you to the top of the table. But it's a small window of opportunity.
second, you know what? Boom! Just getting more ruthless as this match goes on. 
Yeah, Orton does not want to play around much longer. And the damage continues to stack up on the Hurricane. Hurricane has had flashes of control, but not on that one. Climb, go for it, climb. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. You never know, this could be it. Oh, I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Both men grappling from a terrifying height. Don't do this! No! Neckbreaker! Using the ladder for the ultimate maneuver. Can he rally it? Can he make that the turning point? Uh-oh. Now we have more. Uh-oh. Van Dam can keep Ray down. Van Dam can taste victory now. He's looking at it. Here he goes. Victory just a few inches away. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole. Not a very well calculated one either. Look at this. DDT. Neil and Shinsuke fighting the attack at a crucial time. Shinsuke turning the dial up. Uh oh. Suicide dog on the outside. Cole does it better. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Sammy Sane. has been history in the making. This is insane! This is insulting. This is entertaining. Placing them into the corner. From the middle row. A scissors whip. Trump kick hits the mark. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Oh, vicious knee to the face. right now. Who can blame them? The 
Hurricane absolutely not going to back down from the fight. Yeah, against his better judgment. To the sky. The original, the official, the only club that matters. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And it is for the WWE Tag Team Championship! Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the O.C. We all know the O.C. loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world, and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. Giovanni Vinci and Luke 
Kaiser. Kaiser. Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. Look at that formation. Completely in sync, like a finely tuned watch. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day! The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag Match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. All the way up. Off into the pen. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. Dangerous move, showing there's nothing they won't do to gain the upper hand against the champion. A back suplex. So kick. He's going for it. And a string of attacks like that can rip from the top. Now here's Anderson. <laughs> a bear hugs. He gets there a few seconds longer, and this match would have been over. He means business right now. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Ah, oh, right to the throat. The champ now absorbing a little damage. What an attack there by Vinci. Expertly controlling his power. Kick that 
Up top. Death Valley driver by Vinci. The champ's eyes were glazed over. And meanwhile, Finn Balor. Shoulders up and gut check by Finn. And he tosses it back in now. Oh, square shot with the back elbows ends there. A victory for the team, especially Carl Anderson, who really helped put this one away. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them.
Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room. The time has come to fall and pray. The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun.
A chill hangs in the air. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross, And his opponent from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Bray Wyatt! It's big. It's gold, and every superstar wants it. The World Heavyweight Championship. Look at that illustrious, beautiful title. The World Heavyweight Championship is up for grabs in this matchup. Who will end tonight as the champion? Who will come out on top? Ray Wyatt is really showing his confidence. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Into the barricade. Oh, man. Look at this. Right into the barricade. might not have a pleasant ending. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Whew, that was close. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. So look at this, she is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Ooh. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Delivering the suplex. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, as Wyatt's already hard at work melding the mind games with physical attacks. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. Bray has clearly frozen the opposition with fear. Denied with an elbow. This manager looking for under the ring. She has no business down there. Cross is a tremendously gifted striker. What do you think is the best chance to defeat him one on one? Treat him like a fight. Cross is going to look to brawl and throw hands, so stick and move is the name of the game. Just beware. He's got a good motor on him, too. Wyatt is sustaining the attack. So much for Cross's motor. His ability to brawl and throw hands is getting cut off here. to be mindful of the referee's Oh my gosh, what impact! A bad place to be for the challenger. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Ah, oh, come on, man. The hood of the announce table, now there go the monitors. 
Sad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Unique and effective maneuver from Wyatt. He has his opponent and the WWE Universe in the palm of his hand now. <laughs> Fending off Wyatt. Cross might be able to start mounting something here. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Slips out of the way. And now gets tossed into the ring. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. And Cross can't find an answer for these attacks. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. And set right into the corner. Caught with the elbow. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Elbow drop. Ray Wyatt on the move. Kick out. Oh, God, that'll rearrange your skull. Big boot. It's just big boy. Wait for it. Oh, Alabama slam. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Soaring through the air. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. And he slides him back to the mat. Taking this to the floor. There's some power behind that punch. Uh-oh. He takes control. Marion Cross looking to deliver with the final prayer. The champ's eyes were glazed over. Whoa! Unbelievable! Kick out at one? Unbelievable! More like inhuman! That act of defiance is only going to provoke Karrion Cross. These superstars' bodies must be wrapped with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? Well, that will give you nightmares for days. What on earth is it Bray Wyatt doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, Bray had it scouted. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. Doing whatever it takes to win, and we're about to see it. Superplex! Face watch. The champ shoulders are down. Cross looking. Oh, God. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Oh, diving some time. Bob. That was amazing. Wyatt's starting to get the crowd involved. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Ah, 
claw to the face. Ripping at the eyes. Ray with an overwhelming attack. Ray is just sucking the spirit out of his opposition. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Cross finds a way to answer back, and it could be a turning point. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And listen to this place. Oh my gosh! Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. And Cross is being taken apart here. Yeah, but Cross just has to revert back to his killer instincts to regain control. Whip back into the ring. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Perfect Hit attack for the championship. Strong kick out of two from the champion. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Oh, what a DDT. Devastating. With the counter. Nice cross body. Bray is waiting. Bray is fixated. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. All right, this one's over. Tap out coming. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. And still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Ooh. He must have seen that coming. Oh, what a knee. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Vicious right forearm. Wait for it. Alabama slam. Ankle lock. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. Great wherewithal on the counter. Submission here. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. The champion retains. Here is your winner and still the world heavyweight champion, Bray Wyatt. Crucial victory as he retains the title. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance. The Welsh Dragon herself. The following contest is the Money in the Bank Ladder Match. To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year. Anytime, any 
Making her way to the ring from the Welch Valleys, Tegan This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Selena has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Selena was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. Time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shalom, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonia Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonia is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. Sonia is looking for a fight and is ready to go. DeVille, so well versed in submissions and ground and pound with her MMA background. And we are about to see it in action. Six feet of raw power. Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. The personification of dominance in NXT and WWE since day one. Yeah, and I think we can all agree that Raquel Rodriguez is getting better with every match. Even when she makes short work of her opponent. Time to get extreme. And from Sanford, North Carolina, Hey, here's a Hall of Famer with plenty of attitude. The controversial, the rebellious, the breathtaking Lita. All those attributes are what have made Lita a true legend. Here and ready to roar. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lions. Built like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly in aerodynamic tank.
Ronda Rousey is here. Clear the way, folks. Here comes the baddest. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! Pure lethal striking skills and the world's best submission specialist. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Behold the epitome of brains, beauty, and brawn. And representing toxic attraction from Denver, Colorado, the NXT Women's Champion, Eve Tonnes. Eve is a natural-born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in-ring IQ. Eve Torres is the real deal. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. The contract is hung and these superstars are off to the races. Being the first up the ladder doesn't get you anything, but being the last gets you everything. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Sit out, Gord Buster. Oh, sit out, Slam. Example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Nikita just mocking her now. Six straight to the barricade. Shot knee. Boy, this match has so many moving parts. How can a superstar move quickly while making sure they have a clear path up the ladder? to try to manage the carnage so that everyone's disposed with the rings clear so the ladder can be set up to climb. You have to move fast, but you cannot overlook your opponent, and you definitely cannot stop to admire your work. Now, don't waste a single second on anything that isn't an opponent or the prize atop the ladder. You can enjoy the highlights later. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Oh, great. We are in the inside furniture here. Pulling in there. What a mess. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out. Including us. She's got a hold of it. Come on. You got the quicker than this. For once, I agree with you. From the top of the ladder, what a punch. I can't say that I'm surprised to see the action continue up here. Me neither since it's a uh, ladder match. But oh, she continues to fight. Just relentless. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Tegan Knox turning up the intimidation factor. Oh, Tegan's toughness being called into question by that offense. And a crafty maneuver that he leaves. Turn it around. She says, no thanks. Hey, you can't do that. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. No, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. never had a chance to block any of those. She's able to get out of the way. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. So you know Rose doing the triangle on them. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as... Trying to free herself from the triangle. 
Left hands fighting desperately and she's free. yourself get psyched out. Wrench in the arm. Oh, Nick and what goes on. T-bone into the power slam. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Lally be showing your opponent exactly what she thinks. And that was a precisely measured attack. There she goes. Be careful. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. Oh, shot. It seems a bit early to be going for the win. Not if they can win right here. Oh, oh, that was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Kick to the gut. Going up. This Hurts is... on the shoulders. Oh, and a forearm. We got a little tandem offense in our future. And that was a well executed attack. Places are right in the corner. Take this one. Ronda Rousey with a takedown. Look at the cinch in the arm bar. There it is. The arm bar is locked in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict it. Looks like she has other plans here. Obviously, just looking to soften her up a little there.
Lions keeping her opponent at bay. She's making the climb now, guys. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it.
right to the kidneys from behind. Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Nightmare headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as LA Knight, you shine bright naturally. Here comes one dangerous man, Solo Sokoa. And introducing the challenger, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Solo is a man who annihilates the competition with ruthless and unflinching efficiency. We've learned that the enforcer of the bloodline is not about talking. He is all action. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him.
And introducing the champion, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Herman Hayes! Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. One of the most beloved titles in all of WWE, the fate of the Intercontinental Championship will be decided here in this triple threat matchup. Heads will be on a swivel in this one with LA Knight, Solo Sokoa, and Roman Reigns. And you know these odds do not favor the champion, but that's what defending the title is all about. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Big forearm. And what a burning lariat. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Stiff kick. Boom, Solo with a timely counter. Yikes, that'll either way to get or knock you out. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Fire 
Here's Samoan drop. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. The challenger eating up some damage. Roman just solidifying his position at the top with that kind of offense. LA Knight ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, literally. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Climbs back inside. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands manages to fight out with a series of punches. And from the GDT! Fight! Thunderous for the title! And the champion avoids the two count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Stomping! Ouch! Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. He'll take things into the ring. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. I think that one busted Roman Reigns open. Show confidence. has it sensed in. Oh, Roman Reigns with the curve out. He breaks up the hole. Lift it up. What do they have in mind here? Those last hits rattled the champ. Hanging tight as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Oh my gosh, what impact. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. There he goes, right yeah. in the corner. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Into the ring again. In the clothesline. Axe handle finds its target. Hooks the boot to the midsection. Expected that one. Powerless position to be in right now. Tries to rattle like a ragdoll. Just discarded the chain like a chump. Cover by the challenger. The pen's broken up. Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. Cover by the hands. Oh, knee right to the face. Big forearm. Body to the jaw. Countered it just in time. Using your head. Headed to the top now. Soaring. Piercing elbow. Oh, right into the shoulder. It's got to hurt. Spinning heel kick. The challenger not looking good right now. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, man. Turning the microphone into a shot put weapon. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Unrelenting attacks from Solo. Uh-oh. Winding up. There's a Samoan spike. Ouch. The title's in jeopardy here. Trying to make the paradise shifted for the win two no stops the carry two getting that shoulder up now is huge <laughs> oh knee smashing the face after all we've seen these men are still not finished there's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit whoa not quite yet you're a nagi man Deep into the match, Reigns lets fly yeah. another heavy attack there. Throughout the course of this match, Roman has been a force to be reckoned with. Pop up their opponent. Into a first power slam. Wow. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. He can really stand to get back. 
as good as he's getting right about now. One step ahead of Knight there. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Getting back into the ring. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Targeting the throat there. Nice being taken into the deep waters here. Oh, pin attempt for the championship. Title match stays alive. Somehow, some way, he is raised it. Looks like the champ is going to retain. That's got to be it. Two. And the champ stands tall once again. For the champ as he retains the title. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE.
He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia. That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. And gentlemen, this is what it's all about. The WWE Championship on the line in what should be a war to the finish. This is what superstars grind and scrape and sacrifice for. The chance to be here in this position with this opportunity. One of these men is about to fulfill a lifelong dream. Uh -oh. Suicide dive! back in under the ropes. Springboard misses the target. Ooh, skull rattling. Ooh, stinging kick. Oh, impressive counter. These two going strike for strike, it seems. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Each exchange. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? He forces a break before the count of two. He's far from finished. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, solid kicker. Here's the pin. Title on the line. He gets the shoulder up at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Up the turnbuckles. Take off. What? Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Another underhook. Down with the power bomb. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Rhodes to the top. Bulldog brings them down. The champ now absorbs. Cody. Cross Rhodes. We can have a new champion. That's got to be it. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Kick out at one. Very few 
these superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few, how about almost none? This match just went to the next level. Disbelief on the face of the American Nightmare. What's he gonna have to do to put this away? Ah, striking with an A. Seth Rollins is just getting dismantled. And you can't deny, he's preventing Rollins from dictating the pace, from getting things going. Now, let's see if he can maintain the upper hand. Big forearm. Uh, off the rope. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Uh-oh. Oh, no! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. DDT! Thunderous Club comes down. Very effective. And he tosses it back in now. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, Rollins at this stage getting visions of winding this battle down. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Whoa, not quite yet. Single underhook. Face first. Driven down. Quick count after one. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix Splash! Cover! Two! No, stops the count at two. He just won't give up. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Swing blade by Rollins. Brain Buster. Single leg takedown of their opponent, and there it is, the figure four leg lock. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict the... Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Able to avoid any harm there. He switches it back around. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. A fiery move by Rollins. Looking to burn down yet another obstacle in his way. Pulls the trigger. Oh, a knee strike. And Seth taking some time to, well, who knows what his thought process is at this point. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Body slam slipped out. What a shot. Oh, man. Tucks his tail between his legs and gets out of there. Vicious knee. Headed to the top rope. If this lands, it's over. Most impressive moves I've ever seen. 
What now? A uh, stop right to the gut. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. And Rollins cannot be stopped. Rollins knows just what he needs to do to end this. Caught the leg. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Rollins about to head to the pay window. Trips Rollins. The title might change hands. Cover. What? What, what just? I can't. I agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Really just laying it in. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. <laughs> Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, gotta clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. On the apron. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa, what a landing. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Rollins is feeding off the WWE Universe. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Into the corner. This can't be good. Ooh. The American Nightmare with a through the air, Cody Connor. Cody showing just how undeniable he is with that one. No smoke and mirror. Rose looking to end this. Cross Rose. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. There's two, three, no, a two count. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Into an ankle breaker. And that holds Cody back. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Ooh. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Perched on the top row. Here it is. Superplex. Rhodes could be on the verge of seeing stars. Here it comes. Stop. I think the champ's got it. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Rollins on the move. Champ has this one in hand now. Makes a cover. Oh, he kicked out. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? How often do you see Seth Rollins come up that short, that close? He's got to be living right about now. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Letting his opponent know who's in charge. Single leg drop kick. 
on him. And Cody Rhodes is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Cody has to plot a way to get back into this. Using the ropes. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. Now that'll do some serious damage. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Gets him with the counter. Hanging back with their own counter. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. An elbow will break that up. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. He's heading up top. Thinking big. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash by Rollins. High risk plans from Rollins. Blast off. Five star frog splash. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning streak. Seth Rollins. Stop. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Stop. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Try to end it. And Seth Rollins is still the champion. What a win for the champ as he retains the title. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title.